I started a new program, MM100, Morning Meltdown 100, and it was workout one, and it was cardio, and as you can see, it clearly kicked my butt. So I am super excited about going forward with this. I wanna document this journey because I have laxed so badly on my diet and fitness and just my overall health quarantine really put my anxiety into overcharge and i am ready to stop letting my anxiety get the best of me and i am ready to continue on my fitness journey because i still have a few pounds that i would like to lose and i know that working out and eating healthy just really helps to get my mind in a good place and it gives me more energy and it just helps me be more present with my family which i think is something I need right now especially while we're on quarantine at home so I'm excited to take you guys along this journey I'm just gonna show you everything that I'm eating today as I get back on track I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment down below and let me know that you are here to support me as I know most of you are because you guys love these videos and yeah let's just get on with the day so I have some leftover taco meat, so I figured I would make a taco omelet, which is super tasty. It's just an omelet with like taco fillings, so super simple. I just cut up an onion, some spinach, some tomato, and I've got some cheese. And then these little cute guacamole cups, I picked these up at Costco. They're so good, you guys, because I'm sick of buying um, avocados and they go bad so all that's in here is Haas avocados and sea salt so I love this so much. All I did was spray my pan with a little bit of avocado oil and I'm gonna go ahead And I don't like my veggies to be raw in my omelet, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and dump them all into the pan and saute them for just a minute. and here she is i only ate half because it turned out to be a really big omelet um but this is full of protein a lot of healthy fats it's a good use of leftovers and y'all know i love a good leftover meal and yeah, I'm gonna devour this. And if I'm still hungry, I'll have some berries after, but I probably will be super full after this. And I have the other half for breakfast tomorrow or like another snack or something later on. Just, it's already ready to go, so I love this. Okay, so I'm just drinking my water and I still put these Mio drops in my water. These are the bomb, this is the best flavor, swear to God. I can't even get it at stores anymore, so I just order mine online, but so good, and they don't do anything bad to the fact that you're drinking water except give it some good taste, which is nice, and yes, I love this stuff. And then I'm also drinking my coffee this morning. This is just leftover um, drive through coffee, and if you're new here, all I do is I get like an Americano with like their cold brew shots or whatever that my coffee stand offers. They're called toddy shots, and then I do heavy whipping cream, one pump of sugar-free caramel sauce in two pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup and that is all I have in my coffee so I'm just gonna sip these two another really good way to curb sweets cravings is to stay hydrated dehydration can cause cravings so it's really important that you do that and don't mind my okay so this is literally one of my favorite snacks I just have half of a pickle in here you could put the whole pickle if you want but I already have enough I've got some jalapenos, some yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, some cucumber, uh, like a quarter of a tomato. And I just put this all in a bowl and I top it with some of this Opa avocado cilantro dressing. You guys, this is fire, fire, fire. Mix it all together like this and this is what you get and it is so good. 
you guys have to try this snack like it's the perfect way to get in a bunch of vegetables and it also helps me beat cravings because when you do things that are like salty and spicy I feel like that really cancels out the sweet tooth craving so good make sure if you guys try any of these recipes by the way that you tag me on my Instagram I'll have that link to on the screen for you because I love seeing it when you guys recreate stuff. It's so cool. So for lunch today, I'm just going to do a quick Shakeology shake and I decided I wanted something kind of sweet. So we're going to do a peanut butter chocolate. I just have my chocolate Shakeology powder and I start off with a base of ice and water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a scoop of my chocolate Shakeology. I am going to add in half of a banana. This is not exactly keto, but this is still lower carb and it fit within my macros for the day. I'm going to be adding in just a squirt of the liquid stevia, half of a capful of the vanilla extract, and then about a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter. I would definitely recommend using something a little bit better than Jiffy, but this is what I have on hand, so that's what I use, and that's my lunch for today. Okay guys, so it's three o'clock right now. I'm getting ready to have some pepperoni and a cheese stick. This isn't a bag like this because I had originally packed it for work and obviously I'm not at work and my hands are ashy AF because I just did a craft and had to use acetone. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna snack on this and just finish up some chores and we're gonna be making some stuffed Philly cheese peppers tonight and I am so excited to show you guys those because they're gonna be bomb. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get your bell peppers um, cut in half and you're gonna wanna put them face down like this, nothing on them, and you're gonna put them into a preheated oven at 350 degrees and you're just gonna wanna cook them for about 30 minutes and this just kinda like softens them up and gets them ready while we prepare the meat. Okay, so I'm going to be putting cauliflower rice in this as opposed to regular rice because that's what I like. I just got this beef top round steak and I thinned it. I sliced it really thin in slices and then I cubed it so that it's really thin like little tiny cubes because I don't like taking big chunks of long strips of meat, how it's traditionally made. And then normally we have mushrooms, um, but we're in quarantine life right now so we're using what we have on hand and I just have these sliced mushrooms. I drained all the juice out of them and I will just use this. And and then I um, sliced up some uh, onion here. This is actually a really big piece, wow, okay. I tried to slice up some onion here. I don't really mind because I like onion, so oh well. Um, a little bit of yellow bell pepper and then I've got my seasonings here. I've got uh, my cast iron heating up here. Don't judge me, I don't take care of my cast iron. And I'm just gonna fry it all up together. Summer sun, 2009, we were feeling high, and I got drunk for the first time. These stuffed peppers came out phenomenal, you guys. I highly recommend that you guys try this recipe. It's so flavorful and it's just so delicious and the leftovers are even better the next day. And if you are skeptical about peppers, if you cook them, like I said, in the oven for about 30 minutes before, they just taste really good. They still have a slight crunch, but they're not soggy and they're just really delicious. So I hope that you guys really try this recipe. And of course, I'll have all of the details linked in the description box for you guys, but tag me if you guys try this, cause this is so good. You are not going to regret it. All right, you guys, grand finale. I'm gonna finish off with this Halo Top chocolate mocha chip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be doing more of these. Let me know if you would like to see these videos more than once a week um, or if you're okay with just having them on Wednesdays. Sound off for me in the comments because I think I wanna do them more than once a week just to like hold myself accountable because you guys do that. All day, every day. Yes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.